from what I've heard is you'll have a chat with Grok like you do normally and it will tell you why it did or didn't edit something or whatever. So you'll be able to give feedback which will be very interesting. You suggest an edit, you just submit it with your edit explained in just natural language. Provide URLs to your sources and I'm sure Grok will use them to see Grok. Look at the edit I have suggested, see its reasoning and thinking and why it did or didn't update the article. So even if you disagree with the what Grok says you can just see what it's thinking. Argue with Grok or prompt it to double check but this will happen all automatically with Grokopedia, won't it? Just seems quite cool. It's actually considering something you've suggested. It feels like you've contributed to it and it's not just arbitrarily saying yes or no, it's kind of thinking about it in whatever way LLMs think. You have an article and it gets continuously improved and edited until Grok can improve it no further. Main difference between Grok and Grokopedia. Grok responds to you after doing some research, but Grokopedia, it does edits for itself. The article is always there and it can improve upon it. What's interesting is as Grok becomes smarter, let's say Grok is upgraded to Grok 5, it's a smarter model that does more thorough research. It might then reread its article from before of its own accord and decide there's a better way of writing it. So you're getting the most out of one model. It might find some improvements that the dumber model couldn't.